and the recent events in Texas have uh, shined a light on the failure of so-called green energy. It has shown the failure of so-called green uh, energy. It's uh, crazy, too, how distracted we are from the real deal in life. And while we are being distracted by the children of the lie, the world is going, the country is going to hell in a handbasket. I never, ever, ever imagined that this could be this way, and it is. It is mind blowing. You hear a lot of folks moving to Texas because Texas is supposed to be conservative, and Texas is um, less taxes and all that stuff. And I'm like, I understand why you're trying to get away from California, New York, and all these states, city and states that are in control by the Democrats. But if you don't, if you go to Texas and just do the same thing, Texas will become California and New York. Is it possible that relying on green energy is a small factor of this failure? Just think about it. And some of you, especially you, uh, especially you millennials, because you were born into an America that was already declining. And so you really don't have anything to compare it to. Your, fa your parents have failed you. The schools have failed you. The media has failed you. And the world is just going to hell in a handbasket. And so you have nothing to compare it to. I happen to have something else to compare it to. America was much, much, much better than it is today. When I ask, is it possible that relying on green energy is a small factor of this failure? Or could it be that America is simply unable to maintain the core elements of a first world country? Because it is making itself into a third world country. America is becoming a third world country. And I am 100% convinced it's due to the destruction of the men. And these women are taking over, and it's all emotional, no logic. They are pointing you in the wrong direction, leading you straight to hell. Every time the man listens to the woman, he suffers. And these women are running businesses, institutions, companies, whatever, schools, and, and it's all emotional crap. They're getting away from the real deal because it's not in them. They don't know any better. But when men are leading these businesses, uh, schools, government, and all that, it gets better because the man knows better. But it's a mess under these women. And you can't blame them. They just they don't know. It's not in them to know. They cannot lead. They were not created to lead. And to celebrate women taking over government, over schools, and I'm always here, not always, most of them I hear, oh, first time woman, first time woman for this, first time woman of color. That's nothing to be proud of. When you see that, you need to get on your knees and pray because hell is coming right with her. And Texas is falling apart. I'm thinking about the people I know who have gone to college or university. The money they have spent or the debts they have got, the debt they have gotten into over stupid classes. Who in the world with any common sense would go to a university, pay buku money, and take a black study class? And the parents, the parents are so dumb. They just feel good because their kid is in college. Who would take a class that would teach you how to hate America, how to hate one another? 
So you ask the parents, how, how are you doing? Oh, things are fine. My kids are in college. This is from ABC. The senior director of the Texas Power Grid operator explains that not only were not only were not only were half of the wind uh, turbines down, the winds not only were half of the wind turbines down, but every other major generation for energy has seen had seen issues. So they're not they're not repairing and and updating anything in Texas anymore, for the most part. Watch this sound like from ABC. For wind, we talked about earlier already that there were uh, a, a number of uh, wind turbines, in fact, about half the fleet that were forced out due to icing on the, the blade. For the coal and nuclear units and some of the gas units, the, out, the, it's the part one reason that they are, have been out, and we don't know all of the details yet, but they're playing so long. It's just various things that, that, that froze up because of the cold weather. Amazing. This is not good, folks. And it's being reported that at least 30 people so far are dead in Texas. Why are y'all fighting over black and white? You're fighting over LGBT mess? Changing boys' body parts into female body parts and female body parts into male body parts. The country is falling apart. It's becoming a third world country. Congressional Research Service is reporting that in 2012, reports comparing the minutes of power outage that homes experience in seven countries the U.S. finished dead last, and by a lot. In 2012, reports comparing minutes of power outage that homes experienced in a year in seven countries. So they compared this with seven countries, the outages, right, power outages. The U.S. finished dead last, and by a lot. Isn't that amazing? America is becoming a third world country because men are girls acting like girls and women are pretending to be men and it doesn't work that way. It's a pretense. They don't have the mindset. And don't get mad at me for saying it. Blame it on God if you got to blame someone. He made it that way. I didn't. I'm just telling you about it. It's terrible, folks. And one of the reasons this is happening, and, and the primary reason, the value uh, decline in morality for sure. Uh, the quality of our country's skilled blue-collar workers has declined as well as our local government have become incompetent. The quality, the, the, um, the quality of our country, skilled blue collar workers has declined as well as our local government have become incompetent. And the Lord know that that's true. You gotta get back down to earth and learn skills, folks. It's a dumb idea to be pushing college. And I'm being told that this is from government tech. Fewer youth are, are interested in STEM. Science, technology, energy, math, engineering. Fewer kids are signing up for that now. But they're signing up for stupid gender study, stupid women study, stupid black history study. All those um, 
class that has nothing to do with nothing. Why the country fall apart? You got to get back to learning skills. Really. And I want to show you an example of that. Let's look at uh, Flint, Michigan. As an example, remember when they were having an issue about the water in Flint and everybody blaming it on everybody else? Low skills, no skills, no common sense. Here is, this is from Reaction. Take a look at Flint, you'll see, watch this. When Flint started getting its water from the Flint River in 2014, city officials could have tailored the chemistry of that water to prevent it from becoming a problem. They didn't, because failure at every level of government allowed lead, a toxic metal, into the water supply. Without corrosion-limiting chemicals like orthophosphate, Flint's plumbing lost a protective mineral layer that naturally builds up in its pipes. Once that was gone, the water began attacking the pipes themselves, some of which contained lead or were just made of lead. Isn't that amazing? And the reason for this, is because they are hiring people based on color, not qualification. You gotta have five black people. It doesn't matter that they don't qualify. You gotta have five women. It doesn't matter that they don't qualify. They have no idea what they're doing. You gotta have five LGBT people. Forget about the qualification. They made a $6,000 a year fix into a $600 million crisis there in Flint because they didn't, they didn't treat the water in the right way. Because they had to hire blacks. And I've been saying for a long time now, don't be hiring these blacks and these women because they're of their color or because they're a female. They need to know what they're doing. And white folks, you gotta take back America. And, and you're letting these black people in and they're not qualified. They can't run anything. And just because they're complaining about their color and you're letting them in because you're afraid, everybody suffer for it. Blacks cannot run anything. They tell you all the time they can't run anything by complaining about white folks. They believe black people believe white people are superior to them. They don't believe that they're capable of learning and doing. And not all, not all, not all, not all, but most. That's why they cry for reparations and affirmative action. And, and they want to get into your business and your companies without being qualified. And as soon as you let them in, the company fall apart. The country is falling apart. It wasn't like that in the good old days. And then you feel proud because you have five blacks, five homosexuals, five lesbians, five white people, white women, five black women. What's the, it's not even about qualification anymore. Do they qualify? And then the company owners, the owner of the company, they know that these people are not worthy of it. They're not working, they're not doers. You, I've heard all my life, you don't miss your water until the well runs dry. You're not going to miss America until it's, it runs dry. And it is happening. Whether you admit it or not, all due to fear of name calling, people taking something away from you, and all that. The fear is not good to have. I've said it once. I've said it twice, and I've said it many, many times. Men got to turn back to God and become men again. Women got to turn back to God and become women again. We can't continue down this road of letting the children of the lie force you to go down the road that they're trying to take you down. It's not going to work. And you have physical examples right in front of you. Look at what happens, happened to the black people when the men disappear from their homes. 
the blacks are out of control. They don't. They have no skills. They have no sense of self-control. They are, they are whining and blaming and begging and excusing. And the men are as bad as the women with the excuses. Look what happened to the country when they took God, the mention of God out of the schools. They brought in gender studies, LGBT studies, black study, and all that crap. This is a serious issue that's happening, but nothing to freak out over. It's enough to know that it's serious in the churches around the country. It's becoming more degenerate than any other time in history because the men are afraid. And this is happening in the church. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.